Well, it doesn't say, well actually, I don't think it does. Um, it doesn't say what's the, um, what's the, the, the torque uh, for the, for the, for, for the screw here. But I'm using, um, I don't know, just, you know, bare hands and uh, uh, I'm putting not too tight but uh tight enough to be to be uh, uh safe i don't want this thing um going bad um also the um, there is a there is a part here in uh, step 27 that says that in some cases the l bracket has to be removed which is this bracket that i removed uh, earlier and i said that the, it doesn't say anything about it um as I as I understand, I could put it back together here, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, it doesn't say also here in the in the um, uh, 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 steps in, in the manual. It doesn't say to put it back, but I will put it back because if it if it's what it if it was there first of all, which means it's supposed to be there. So um, next you have to drill a hole right here where there is a hole on the on the aftermarket part so um, let's do that now uh, for that they give you a drill bit already and uh, all you have to do is get a nice drill and uh, and do it and again it is recommended to um, to cover the the car with something uh, I will use this towel which is what was in handy um, just for precaution in in case any particles fall in in the car you don't want anything happening um, okay this should be good okay um, then drill the hole and move to the next step well as you can see um, I don't know if you can I just drilled the hole there uh, no secret um, I put the towel here to uh, prevent the crumbs to uh, metal crumbs to uh, or shavings whatever you want to call it to fall in the car uh, and there was a lot so um, now I think this is the hardest part and it's all done um, next step is take off that towel without anything falling in the car if anything happens to fall in the car I'm pretty sure you have a vacuum hanging around in the house that you can use and get those those particles out of the car and you should have something pretty much looking like this then what do you do now is you secure in, in that hole that you just drilled you put the other um, screws provide the, the other screw provided 10 millimeter wrench um, uh, nut and a 5 millimeter wrench, um, Allen uh, um, screw I'm going to put the the L bracket now right here. Um, and I think I just found out that it can't be there. And if not, well, just as I said, this is my first time doing this, so. Okay, he looks good. Okay. So all you have to do with the with the wrench is um, hold the the, the nut to the inside. That sounds funny. And so then you you can um tighten the allen screw 
and it's pretty tight. Yes, and now the last step, which is uh, step 31. You just have to pop the shifter cable into the pivot ball that uh, on the on the TWM shifter side, um, and it can be done by hand, as it says. So we just yep, we pop it on there, and it, it looks pretty safe. Hopefully, it's gonna hold. Uh, wow, and this is guys. Wow, this is amazing. This. This is really short. I I don't even have to to do a before and after to to see how how short this is. This is amazing. So um, now what you do? You do the reverse steps to install the console again. Um, make sure you know where those screws are for the light. Be careful not to scratch the console uh, with the with the shifter. You don't want that to happen. Then you click in the cigarette lighter connector. And clip on the, the front console again. Just like that. Quick, simple. Um, I just just noticed now that you can actually feel the the shift plate here and the shift cable. Uh, I don't know if I'm too thrilled about that, but um, of course you will not notice it with the the car in normal stage state, but. Um, well, if you're a guy like me that just knowing something bothers you, um, this is one something to think about before buying the, the kit. Uh, and apparently, it, it is pretty short, a lot shorter than than uh, stock. Now, clip on the the rear the rear part. Again, being very careful uh, not to scratch anything in your car. And the last part, the shift knob. This is excellent. This is, uh, it feels really good. Uh, I wonder how it's going to feel on the, on the street, but uh, it's really good. So uh, I hope uh, this was a helpful uh, a guide for you guys, um, and um, enjoy.